So this is different from my usual type of content. As you all probably have seen on my channel, I'm more of a Warframe content creator, but I really do play a ton of Destiny. I have over 2000 hours, just like in Warframe. So when doing the Dual Destiny exotic mission, I acquired a relativism with quite an int interesting role that I thought I would never use because, well, it just didn't click instantly. That role being Spirit of Gear Falcon and Spirit of Renewal. Now you're probably thinking that's pretty basic, kind of bad actually. Well, it's not, and this is why. With Stylish Executioner's change, where it says now defeating a target affected by any elemental debuff grants invisibility, we take advantage of this because what is the point of Gear Falcon? Go and Viz, get volatile. Well, this basically means you get infinite volatile rounds as long as you can apply a debuff. Well, we're running Dustfield Grenade to take advantage of the renewal change, which lets you get Frost Armor to give you damage reduction. And if you throw it at an enemy, they deal reduced damage. Threaded Spike to give ourselves Sever across all enemies, which is uh, giving us the advantage of Stylish Executioner. We're going to be running Fast to Dawn, Fast to Protection, Fast to Blessing, Fast to Command, and Fast to Purpose. This one can easily be replaced for literally anything, and you could easily replace Dustfield Grenade if you get a different role. We're using Deadfall, but you can also use Silence and Squall, Silk Strike, or Golden Gun. Storm's Edge really doesn't have a spot in this build, and you do not have to run Winter Shroud. You could easily run things like um, Threaded Spectre. You could even run Gunpowder Gamble if you would like, but I really like how Winter Shroud feels because if I get surrounded, I can slow every enemy around me. And well, if I get a punch kill or any kill after slowing, I'll go Invisible Things to Sasha's Q shirt. We're running Mountaintop, but you can change this to be any anyway. fur, Graviton, and Edge Transit. Graviton is to take advantage of the fact that we get Black Hole and Cosmology because when those void projectiles track and hit an enemy, they'll proc Volatile, which also makes you go invisible, but you can easily replace this for things like a Recluse with Desert Measure, a Funnel Web with Subsistence Frenzy, a Harsh Language with Decent stabilizing and envious stuff like that even um dead messenger would work and when it comes to the grenade launcher you could easily replace this to be a linear fusion rifle a sword if you like a rocket launcher from the uh, echoes act or any of that sorts but obviously what does the build feel like well I, I did bring this into a Warlords. It feels quite nice there, but I'm going to show off in the free roam out here in the Pale Heart because these builds are meant for fun, not always meant for end game content. So I'll see y'all after we start killing some enemies. And here we are in the landing. Now, I do want to preface that until you do proc your volatile rounds, this obviously is not going to do anything. Uh, Graviton is going to be Graviton, it's still going to erupt, still going to explode. The way I usually do it is I will throw my threaded spike first to cause sever. Go and viz even if it doesn't kill anybody. And then instantly just start following up with every volatile kill I can by taking advantage of cosmology. Let's do that. Go and viz. Go and viz again. Oop. And it's basically just an infinite cycle that you can keep repeating. As long as there are enemies that are around that you can just basically shoot just like that. As long as you just keep the invisibility flowing, you should always have your volatile up and should always be able to just keep it up. So, as you see, it just takes a couple shots, rock on a random enemy, and just keep the invis going. The whole point of using Spirit of Renewal on the build is so you could basically just do stuff like this. Throw it at an enemy if you're taking too much damage, so it's yourself or the enemy, and now they take, take, they deal reduced damage. With that reduced damage, you now shouldn't really die as fast as them. Basically just infinitely cycling your invis, you're basically become the strongest ad clear and support that a team could want. Because all it takes for me to just not die is just throwing my grenade at the ground and I have frost armor and I take even less damage than what they already deal to me. And once again, see how come I have lost my buff? All it takes is me throwing out my uh, threaded spike and it's instantly back on me. And I can just keep the invis train running and something I really do like is how come there's about to be a ton of ads here, so I just pop my tether like that. Throw a grenade at him if I want. And they are no more. And an advantage of using that, by the way, uh, dust fill grenade with the facet of command is if I had stuck that and kept going, I would be able to just keep shooting my uh, edge transit because of its reload capabilities. But obviously these are just the basic ones i'm gonna go ahead and get to overthrow three and show you how it deals with a massive crowd which is spawning right there all right well it didn't take long to get here but now we're here so basically all you have to do when using this if you got your super is cast your super throw a dust fill grenade down and you'll instantly start proccing your uh your buffs then you can just take advantage of it fully by just abusing volatile rounds 
But a cool thing about this build as well is when using Transcendence, I'm gonna stick this to him, is you infinitely can get your super energy, not super energy, Transcendence energy with this build because it just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking and going up because you're just constantly getting kills. Well, as long as you're constantly getting kills, well, I should specify. Because just like Incandescent, it seems to give you a ton of uh, Transcendence energy back, like more than usual, even without the thing that boosts it usually. I just see, it doesn't even do that bad of damage even without the uh, taking advantage of Volatile Rounds. I just see here I am using it to basically support myself because I do get Frost Armor times uh, 5. As long as I am standing inside of that ring, or anybody standing inside that ring, you'll get Frost Armor, which gives you reduced damage now. But obviously, if you don't want to buff yourself, you can throw it at a, uh, you can throw it at the enemy and make them deal less damage. Now, I already got back my uh, Transcendence. That is just something I really do not like about how come they can shoot your shots out of the air, because as you saw, I just killed myself with my own uh, mountaintop. But sadly, it happens. It does happen a lot. But as you see, the build is not even that bad. It does quite well, even in... Uh, well, obviously, it's not going to do hard in free roam, but obviously, take it into dungeons and stuff like that. I took this into Warlord's Ruin on yesterday's stream, and, well, didn't struggle at all. Ooh. Let's see what we get. Ah, another Ergo Sum. That's not bad. Ugh, never mind. Seems I spoke a little too soon. You should try to give this a chance. Obviously, you will not get this always, since it is kind of a luck-based system. Since, uh, obviously, I got one with in most light and verity. I got one recently with Renewal and Syntheseps. You're not guaranteed a certain, um, a certain role when doing the mission or just free roaming in general and opening up chests, because... It's meant to be farmed, but obviously some uh, some of the roles are quite nice. This build is just for fun. Test whatever you feel like you need to whenever it comes to making build stuff as, stu such as this. But on that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, afternoon, evening, morning, midnight, whatever time zone is super great rest of your time. Make sure you guys stop by the Discord, by the way. It's always posted in the description. Same thing with the Twitch. I'm, I usually stream live with a constant schedule that you can find on my Twitter and on my uh, Discord. And if you want to see more builds like this, hit that like button. Tell me what other characters you want to see, because I do have one for my Warlock. I have yet to do it for my Titan yet, but obviously I can do that. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.